Welcome back to St. Ronan's News for Friday the 24th of March 2023. Rosanna represented her pony club last weekend in Mountain Games travelling up to Birmingham to compete against 20 national pony club teams. Her team came fifth, which was a fantastic effort by them all. This was a national friendly competition, but the aim is to qualify for the regionals in May and for the championships in July. Watch this space. Well done, Rosanna. A huge amount of fun and mud was had on the football pitches whilst the girls competed vigorously in their inter-house football leagues. Congratulations to Selden, who won the under 11 slash under 10 competition, and to Pembroke, who were the winners of the under 13 and under 12 league. Well done everyone and thank you for all your enthusiasm and great team spirit. Some of our sports pupils were lucky enough to visit Eastbourne College this week for a delicious lunch and wonderful afternoon of cricket. The children really enjoyed the challenge of battling against the Merlin spin machine. Congratulations to the under 10A hockey team who enjoyed a fun afternoon at the Radnor House Fifths this week. Winning five matches and drawing one. Some very exciting hockey played by all. ABRSM exams were taken this week. Good luck to everyone who sat them. Fingers crossed. You may recall that the boarding department recently acquired a pinball machine of which Mr. Yeavesley has held a high school record for some time. This week, Freddie GR smashed the top score by a mere 9 million points. This chocolate bar challenge prize was well and truly deserved. Also, the boarders enjoyed their annual Easter egg hunt. Congratulations to Charlie on finding seven cream eggs. Seven! This week also saw our youngest dance students perform the springtime recital in the beautiful grey space. Here, our new junior reporter, Mr TV, has sent a video for us to watch. On Monday, we had the first ever Class 3 Choose Curriculum morning at St Ronan's where the children were completely in charge of what they wanted to be taught. They chose to learn about origami, the history of computers and gaming, and unusual sports. They made a beautiful temporary art installation of origami Easter animals and even had a personalised video message from David Beckham. Or was it Mrs M's husband in a David Beckham mask? We all had a great morning and it was wonderful to see the children both in charge of and so engaged in their learning. Class 3 have also worked so hard this term that their class marble jars are overflowing. As their marble treat, the Easter Bunny paid them an early visit and hid letters all over the school grounds. Solving riddles to find them, the children then had to unjumble the letters to reveal the winning word. The weather was a bit miserable, but the chocolate eggs as a prize more than made up for the rain. This week with Shell in French, we've been learning about the Easter traditions in France. We found out that the Easter Bunny does not visit France and that instead the church bells deliver eggs to French children. On Good Friday, all the church bells fly off to Rome to be blessed by the Pope. The chiming of the bells across France stops and only returns on Easter Sunday when the bells return from Rome and drop Easter treats on their way back. Dee Manford from Hingston Dairy kindly visited hedgehogs this week as part of our food and farming topic. She brought with her some of her delicious milk and yoghurts and some tasty cheese for us to try, which was enjoyed by nearly everyone. <laughs> to the pupils of St. Ronan's, have an amazing last day of term today. We look forward to seeing you all in the great space later this afternoon for prize giving. We hope you enjoy your Easter break and of course, National Skipping Day today. Another feast finalist coming up and we will see you in a few weeks time. Act number six, three more acts to go. Jemima, Jemima, Poppy, Glory and Emma.
our sports pupils were lucky enough to visit Eastbourne College this week for a delicious. <laughs> 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 Wait, can I just ask, is that. Take 10. No joking. The children really enjoyed the challenge of beating. Yeah. Take number 132. <laughs> Some of our sports pupils were lucky enough to visit Eastbourne College this team is in the thing in the background. Do you want to do the game? I've got no idea what that was, it was strange, wasn't it? <clears throat> Stop laughing! Why is there such big gaps? Oh, it's just a copy and paste. You may recall that the boarding department recently acquired a pinball machine of which Mr. Yeasley has held a high school record for some time. This week, Freddie GR smashed the top score by a mere 9 million points. This chocolate bar challenge prize was well and truly deserved. Also, the boarders enjoyed their annual Easter egg hunt. Congratulations to Charlie on finding seven cream eggs. Seven. Seven?! <laughs> That's kind of what I was looking for, but... Yeah. <laughs> Here are new joint... We're going so well. Here are new junior report... Oh my goodness, new junior. Can we do that again? Yes, if you want to. I'm just looking at this is sloping, this is tipping down. Oh, we all had a great morning and it was wonderful. No. Okay. Oh, was it Mrs M's husband in a Becca mask? Oh no, I just said we're back and more. Yesterday, as a part of our food and farming topic, she brought with her some of oh, her- sorry, can I change that? Not yesterday, this week. Sorry, can you? <laughs> it's my fault. Apologies. T Manford from Hingston Dairy kindly visited hedgehogs yesterday as a part of our food and farming topic. Oh, I said yesterday again. <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> we hope you enjoy your Easter break and of course, National Skipping Day. Today, uh, oh. Ooh. Another feast final is coming up and we will see you in a few weeks time. We hope you enjoy your Easter. Didn't we just say enjoy your Easter? Did we? Uh, probably. It's, uh, oh, it's repeated. Oh, sorry. Okay, so if we go to... Uh... Professional as ever. We hope you enjoy your Easter break and of course, National Skipping Day today. Another feast finalist coming up and we will see you in a few weeks time. Come on Terry, you should know all the house points by now. Tell us who's won, everyone wants to know. I've got no idea, it's all switched off. I really couldn't tell you. <laughs> Let's have a little look. No, I'm only joking, I'm only joking. You'll find out today.